first things first, elephant in the room. I'm not wearing a shirt because I don't want to. It's my room. Anyways, Longitude announced some acts time ago, and I'm only reacting to it now. First of all, we have Venby. To be honest, I don't know who that is. I'm sure, obviously, they're good enough if they're on the lineup, but I just don't know who they are. So let me educate myself. Uh, is he Irish? Oh, it's a girl as well. I won't lie. Tal was a girl. I'm really violating her. I'm not even meaning to do so. Pick up Vemby, you know. Next up, we have Travis and Els. I've actually heard of these, man. These men are sick. Vision. This is a sick music video as well. Name me the nigga that go this hard way, apart from all my dogs. No and e up front, no tell far back, right? And we don't need no straps. Yeah, that's a little bit of it. It's vibey. I won't lie. And the music video is sick as well uh big up the gliders next up we got songer oh this fella songer is sick i'm actually glad he's on the lineup i won't lie there's one song of his his flow is crazy that bar already is just crazy if you're spending 700 on a sweater you don't impress crazy he's actually so sick next up we have meeks the boy meeks can't stop won't stop i have to give credit to philip he kind of like made me pay more attention to meeks the thing is when i went santan dave in the tree arena who was opening up for santan dave it was meeks but i didn't really know about meeks i only knew about that one video like me where he has like the multiple versions of him in the video and then respect the come up his mixtape dropped and he had dave on it and he had central c on it big up meeks and i actually have tickets to go see him with philip and all the other boys that's gonna be fun next up we have ken carson i've heard of ken carson before he has a song with lil tekka that i like it was on the internet money album she wants some more he had that like project x tape or whatever like i've listened to him here and there but just like i'm not too deep into him which is cool that he's on the lineup next up we have glorilla glorilla is actually sick like she has that one song with cardi b tomorrow too Papa G, you would think i went to school for chiropractor like don't even that's fire and she had a song with money back yo recently i heard a little bit of it glorilla's sick big up her like people be violating her they say her eyes are too far apart <laughs> Next up, we got Flo. I heard of Flo because of Pink Pantress. She done a boiler room and she actually had Flo as special guest. And the whole band is just Leng. I'll just be honest. But their song, Cardboard Box, it's a good song. Three girls in a group, all Leng. Simple. So next up, we got Clavish. Does anybody have to talk about that's in this bracket? It's Clavish. I'm just seeing Clavish everywhere on Instagram one day. I'm like, what's up? Who's Clavish? So like, I looked into him. I listened to Public Figure and I was like, it's good, but like, I don't know yet. And then when I heard Grease, I was like, yeah, I understand the hype. My anthem on Tinder is Grease, bro. I had Grease on repeat for like nearly a month. And then he dropped his album, Rap Game Awful. The song name, Rap Game Awful, is sick. Ages ago is Fire. Trying is fire. Enemies is fire. Rocket science is fire. Traumatized is fucking amazing as well. Sold out dates, yeah. Clavish is sick. If there's anybody I rate the most out of here, it's Clavish. Meeks is coming in March and Clavish is coming in March. So I'm gonna see both of them. Next up, we got Ray. I don't know much about Ray. I just know she has one really viral song in the UK official chart. She got the number one single. So I gotta give respect where it's due. That's really hard to do. If I play a few seconds of the song that went number one, you're gonna know it because it was fucking everywhere. A little context if you care to listen. I don't wanna get copyright, so that's what I'm playing. Next up, you got Metro Boomin. When it comes to producing, Metro Boomin is the GOAT. That's why he's the GOAT. Why he's done with 21 Savage. If you don't know who Metro is, if young Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. That's his producer tag. Metro Boomin makes beats, he doesn't rap, just all the beats you hear. If you hear this tag, Metro! or this laughing tag, <laughs> and if you hear a beat, then Metro Boomin made the beat, you know what I mean? There's this one beat that he made. He's doing an interview years ago, and there's this one beat, Six Love. He never finished it, he just played a teaser of it. It goes so hard. <laughs> Only Metro could do that. Metro Boomin showed other producers that, hey, you can be super big and have a really good career just as a producer. You know what I mean? Because I feel like producers kind of get swept under the rug a bit. Like they get ignored. So I feel like a lot of producers look up to Metro Boomin and they have that respect for him. And I have that respect for him as well because he's very sick. We love Metro Boomin. If young Metro don't trust you, I'm going to shoot you. Metro, the laughing tag. <laughs> Boom, there you go. Lil TJ. I don't know where this is my beating. Lil TJ is sick. This was time ago. I was in shirt. 
church girls came over and they were like family friends i was in the car i was playing my own music this girl goes play brothers by little tj i'm like what the fuck who's little tj i ain't heard of this this is when brothers was just blowing up so when i heard brothers i was like this guy's sick i had that song on repeat and then little tj made that song with polo g pop out both polo g and little tj have been big ever since and then last year little tj got shot at like seven times and he nearly died that was pretty upsetting he got through it i'm glad he got through it i'm glad he's still alive i'm glad he's still thriving and doing well there was a stat that like there's a couple artists every album they've put out has a billion streams all of little tj's albums he's put out they all have a billion streams it's crazy and then also listen to forever by little tj it's an old little song five dollars used to stretch it for days robbing niggas trying to copy some jays it's very sick joey badass i don't really listen to his music he had that one song with x the king's dead freestyle rest in peace x but i don't really keep up with joey badass but i know he's very lyrical so yeah joey badass is there uh joel Corey, this guy crazy that song sorry was stuck in my head i can't live without you and the drop as well i can see my whole world changing Sorry is still one of the best songs he's ever made. Argue with your mother. I don't care. Argue with your dad. I don't want to hear it. He's one of the first DJs here we've seen. And there's a lot more. It's been a bit controversial. I know the list. Because it has it's, it's, it's music. You know, like not enough rap. Next up, BLK. I feel like all of Ireland seems to love BLK. I feel like Tala heavily loves BLK. <laughs> Enter the Dragon. It may as well be the national anthem at this stage. <laughs> I'm just now learning that BLK is from Ireland. That's crazy. I thought he was from the UK the whole time. Giro BLK, yupsack. Couldn't name another song from BLK, but just I know that Enter the Dragon's big. So yeah, big up BLK. Give credit where it's due. My man done his thing with that song. Belters only. Go it. I've been a fan of Bissett for a long time. First Bissett song I heard. I think he's very, very sick. And Robbie G, I heard of him, but I was more of a fan of Bissett. And when they came together, I made Belters Only. And then obviously, Make me feel good. Don't Stop Just Yet, Call Me, I Will Survive. They're just a sick group, to be honest. Jazzy, the singer. I feel like she deserves more credit, but it's crazy what Belters Only done. Glow Platinum. It's really sick. Big up Belters Only. They're putting Dublin on. I got pictures with them as well. I met them in a nightclub. Girup the sesh. Next up, we have Anne Marie. She's actually big time, you know? Like, she has a couple songs with billions of streams. Don't Play with KSI, very sick song. She has that song, 2002. Anne Marie's Leng as well. Hello, let's talk about the headliners, baby. We got Calvin Harris. Thinking About You by Calvin Harris is so underrated. I'm fuming about it. It's one of the best songs. I'm playing it right now. I'm about to go crazy to this song. <laughs> So hard, bro. Not this part. That the part is a, nah. I'm talking about the go in, go in EDM song. Nobody talks about that song enough. Slide is fire as well. The song you made with Rihanna. This is what you came for. How deep is your look, bro? He's too goated, bro. He's too goated. Big up Calvin Harris and then MK. Oh man. If I speak about oh man, that song with Becky Hill. Goated song as well, bro. <laughs> When I look back to before we Go it song, I don't wanna hear it Go it song, argue with your mother I don't care Travis Scott, this guy Remember when he wore this suit? Remember when he done this? That was Travis that done that Isn't it? Astro World. That was crazy, wasn't it? The whole event of Astro World and the festival That goes out to the families who lost people Travis, obviously he's a big name He's got hits I just hope that everything is okay at his set That's all I'm saying It's little Uzi Vert It's crazy how far he's come from the XXL freshman days honestly he's just so sick and then obviously exo tour life as well there was a whole movement i have memories of just listening to dark queen in school it's really sick to see just want to rock as well because jersey club was getting a lot of attention on tiktok and it was really blowing up and to see Lil lucy vert call upon mcvert mc vert he makes the best jersey club beats now the song's platinum imagine being this like 18 year old jersey club producer you just make beats in your room and now you have a song with Lil lucy vert it's crazy that's my top on everyone so far i don't mind the list personally i kind of like how they're adding in edm artists djs you know what i mean taking a risk and they made it two days as well as opposed to three days i don't know how to feel about that still but i guess we'll have to see when we go and see what we think about it people are asking me am i getting tickets i don't know there's still more acts to be announced this isn't all the people that are performing at longitude obviously there's gonna be way more but i'll see what happens